Hi guys, my name is Nico. Welcome to my channel. I live up in the mountains of uh, Wyoming. Uh, I think we're considered central Wyoming. And uh, there is a little bit of snow outside, but there's a lot more snow coming Sunday night. So my plans have uh, kind of changed. Uh, I was going to kind of stay home today or maybe run out of town and get some groceries and come right back. But now it looks like there could be a substantial storm coming Sunday, Monday night, lasting possibly through Wednesday. I mean, you never know on these things. Um, it's already April. You would think it would be starting to kind of tone down. Um, and I would think that the roads would not close as much because it's warmer every day, but you never know. So we decided, uh, my husband has a conference tonight that he had kind of wanted to go to anyway out of town so we're going to go ahead and drive up there he'll go to that conference and I will get some supplies and uh, go ahead and source uh, at this community that we're going to there is a Goodwill and there is a um, Salvation Army and then there's another private thrift store but uh, they seem to either sell it on eBay or mark it up. I haven't been there in a long, long time. I probably should try it again, but the Goodwill is amazing. Good prices. They don't know half of their brands. And then the Salvation Army, I also do okay on. They do try to mark some stuff up. So I will focus 99% of my time on the Goodwill, and that may be all I end up getting done. Uh, I usually come out of there with a substantial number of items because I go through every single piece of clothing, and they truck it out. They just keep bringing it out so but for now we're going to do a shipping video um, my new webcam has not come yet as far as I know so sales are still down because I have not gotten my listings back up uh, let's see Wednesday I finally started listing again I had enough clothing washed and processed to, to list so I got 13 done that day, 10 done on Thursday. Right now I've gotten six launched this morning. Uh, my VA has 31 more that I'm going to launch right now and spread them out uh, for a few more today, some tomorrow, and then some on Sunday. So that will at least give me three days off from listing, get some listings up. And then since we're going to be home for who knows how long with the snow, I'll just come back and uh, hit it hard. So today, I mean, this is really early in the morning. It's only 8.17. But so far, since yesterday when I shipped, I only have $169.76. And if you've been watching me for even a few weeks, you'll know that I, I really like it when I'm above $300. And then I've had a lot of $500 and $600 days lately. But today is not one of them, or not yet. So uh, let's go ahead and get started because I have to go out of town today but uh, it's worth it I'm gonna mostly bolo hunt I'm not gonna be um, buying a whole lot of bread and butter because I have so much behind me which is such a blessing so I'm gonna be going for 30 and above um, you know just to to make sure that I'm not bringing home a bunch more work without any uh, anything that's worth it now I'm not gonna pull this out this is a Cabela's chamois or chamois however you say it um, men's shirt, but it is a 3XL tall, and so this was a great size. This sold overnight. I listed this um, just yesterday or launched it. My VA did most of the work on this, so uh, they did not use a coupon or promoted listings of any kind, and I got $33.75 all in. On certain Cabela's, on the bigger sizes, on um, the different materials, I do really, really well. Cabela's in a size medium, men's, just plain old button front plaid. I do not seem to be able to move those. But this I knew would move. I had bought this. If you happen to have caught my uh, one of my last couple of hauls, you'll know that I uh, bought this at the consignment store. I want to say that I spent $7 in my consignment money. So... That's the only downside is the town I was going to run to to get groceries. That's where the consignment store is. And I was going to drop off another bag of consignment if we went to that community. But now we're going to a different community. So I will miss um, 
taking my consignment this week is the bad news. Uh, so, you know, but I can, they let me take it any day of the week. It's just that I won't be able to go till next Wednesday anyway. So I'm kind of missing this whole weekend where I could have dropped off another 25 items, but you know, I think it'll be worth it. I've pulled out some really good stuff out of this uh, Wyoming Goodwill. It's uh, a town called Casper. And it's closer to South Dakota than it is kind of Wyoming as far as any other big cities in Wyoming. It's pretty close to South Dakota, and uh, which means that we better get out of there tomorrow because when the snow comes Sunday, I think South Dakota and all up in there is going to get hit. So we have church on Sunday anyway, and we're only staying until tomorrow. But it'll give me a good break, come back and figure this out again. <laughs> I am one of those people, I can stay in my office for like three or four 18-hour days or whatever you want to say. I can stay home for about seven days I, I, if I'm in the middle of a good book and a good podcast and I'm really focused and I gear myself up for that. But I really cannot work by myself, alone, for myself, like just weeks in a row. I'm not a homebody at all. I like to get out and go places and do things and... um. I'm not a party person. Like, if you just invited me to a party as a stranger, that I don't like at all, really. I um, I like to make new friends, but, like, one at a time. I don't like to go to some just new party or, you know, new whatever and just hang out with a bunch of people I don't know. I like to go out with my family a lot. And then, yes, I, I always like to make new friends, but not, not some big event all the time either. So I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm like a extroverted introvert is that what they say or introverted extrovert I don't know there are like combinations aren't there of all of this yeah you can tell that shirt I barely got that in the padded flat rate but that was a great sale open open See, like now, I mean, it bothers me a little bit that we're going to have snow again on Sunday night. But honestly, now that I'm fully stocked on inventory, it really doesn't affect my life near as much. Before, it was really <laughs> tough because I knew it was keeping me from expanding the business where I need it to go. All right, this is just a good everyday shirt. I find these every day of the week here in Wyoming. Uh, Eli Plains, USA. This is a uh, size 1735. Really nice men's pearl snap western shirt. Um, kind of, I mean, it's got the nice metallic thread. This is one, it's just kind of muted, I guess. Just kind of blah every day. It's, it's cute, but I certainly would not pay more than like a dollar at the bins for this because the colors just don't pop you know it's got a it's got a subtle purple stripe in there but definitely i think the um shirts that really get you a lot of money in western as a rule are the brush popper shirts and you can look that up brush popper shirts are thicker um they're thicker they're almost like a cotton canvas i want to say you know within reason they're not quite that thick um and then they just have these amazing vibrant patterns. Now those I will pay up for, those I will charge up for because uh, people like to wear those as kind of a dress shirt like on a Sunday or go to a rodeo and you know wear their really colorful things. So I love finding brush puffer shirts. But anyway this one they used a coupon. I've had this for Let's see, about a thousand items ago as far as numbers go. So I want to say I've had this three months. So it sold for $13.38 plus shipping, so $17.40. And they did use my 25% off coupon. I might have even sent it to them, so I'm glad. I am glad. Move this one along. But yeah, I can get $10 to $15 on almost any Western shirt if it's not stained. Um, because I have a decent amount of them in my store. Not as many as I want. And this was a good size. It is a vintage, but it's a 17 slash 35 vintage. So I'm sure that it's had some wash wear and isn't as big. Um, this is going to Arizona, uh, and I kept about $1.20 on the shipping. The other thing I wanted to do today was run up here to the thrift because I pulled some great stuff out of here and I haven't been there for like two weeks. I've either been out of town in California or shopping in Denver and so I have not even gone up to see what they have up at this store for two weeks. So if I can launch enough for today 
on my, you know, uh, stuff my VA has done. I do need, he, he rarely makes any mistake. And plus, even in a week, if I said, hey, you know, I didn't launch these yet. I found that you made a mistake. Would you fix it? He would. So even if I pay him on Fiverr and close out the ticket or whatever you want to call it, close out the order, he would still fix it later because I use him all the time. I use him a couple times a week at least just to help me get ahead of things. Um, I can list really fast now after being on, you know, the reseller Nirvana group. So sometimes I wonder how much time he saves me. I mean, he used to save me a ton of time because I was not listing as fast as I can now. But now I wonder, I think he probably only saves me like maybe an hour or an hour and a half um, on a group of 30. But that's still substantial. That is still really good. Okay. Sorry, I have a love-hate relationship with Ikea bags. I love them. I use them for so many things. But then until you get enough in the bottom, they just... You know, they don't, they don't stand up. And I know, I think that they make like a bottom piece or I know I could take a piece of cardboard, but then when I have them in my car going into the bins, they wouldn't fold down. So kind of a, I just have a love hate thing with them. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah. looks like, let's see four more. All right. 4707. I just showed everybody this shirt on my recent haul. Um, I probably could have gotten more. Um, this is a bolo brand. And I have never found it that I know of. Or Labar Brown. It's This is 100% linen. Um, I put packable. It's like a tunic. Um, there might be a better name, but this is a men's, by the way. And uh, just really pretty shirt. I knew it when I saw it that it might be something that men from certain, you know, countries would maybe wear. Um... It, or maybe like on the beach, you know, with a pair of shorts, um, men would wear this. I don't know my styles. I don't know exactly what you would call this style. Um, but anyway, no coupon used, no promoted listings used or found. And so it's $36.03 all in. And uh, I have, especially if you ever found this new with tags, I'm thinking this is a $70 or an $80 shirt. But I, I probably could have gotten 50 but I am very happy. Overnight, again, just launched this yesterday. So two items came just out of this box behind me that I haven't even put away yet. That's the goal for me. Let's see, nine ounces. And then I don't know why it's got one, one, and one in there. I don't want that in there eBay doesn't like that. Okay. Uh, this is going to um, Huron, Ohio. I don't know why it's doing that. It's saying no services available. Let me put nine and see what it doesn't like. Uh, I don't know what eBay doesn't like. I, I think eBay is having some glitches. Hopefully not um, on here. I guess I can put, let's see, this would be about eight by... Um, two by six. I can just make up a package size on that. It's first class. And yeah, I had to make up a package size to get first class to show up. I don't know why. I never seem to have to do that. Anyway, going to Ohio, I'm going to keep about a dollar sixty on the shipping. I don't have time now because we're going on the trip, but I was this morning. Um, I woke up about 3 in the morning, but I had gone to bed like at 8.30 to read, and I laid down, and I was reading, and then I just fell asleep really early, which is a good thing. Then I woke up about 3 on my own, went to work out, and then my husband's like, you know, we really should just go ahead and go out of town. I'll go to the conference, etc. And I said, you know, that sounds great. And uh, so now, though, we're both kind of rushed to get to get out of here. Well, that's my son. I told him. Um, I'll call him in a minute. Do, do, do. Okay. This is real life, guys. My family calls all day. I do normally talk to them first thing in the morning before I kind of get started with my work. And my son's a full-time Amazon seller. And my mom, you know, she is... Uh, uh, full-time teacher. She's still a professor even though she's 75. She's doing really well. And then my dad is running for mayor again. Um, and he's 75. 
so, you know, it's not like my family just calls all day, but um, between talking to all four of them and plus some, you know, almost every day, it's just, I'm sure everybody has that, but it's a blessing, right? Family is a blessing. That's why I suffer like this sometimes. Ugh. There's no reason to be self-employed and stay up half the night sometimes if you're not doing it for your family, right? So this is a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren. These are a size 18 boys. So um, these, I just put 18 green, straight leg, hiking, outdoor, gorp core um, in the title. Um, I measured these. These seem a little small for a size 18, but that's what it says. So um, anyway, hopefully they looked at the measurements. If not... Uh, so these sold for nine bucks plus shipping, so fifteen seventy-five. I'm not very good at children's or even older boys. I probably should have consigned those. I know that uh, someone told me recently, or I saw recently on a podcast that. Uh, definitely once upon a child likes older boy stuff because it just gets torn up. So if you take in boy stuff that is in good, decent, clean condition, like a Polo Ralph Lauren pair of pants, I probably could have made just as much consigning these. And I, I probably won't make that mistake again. I just was probably needing eBay listings, you know. It was probably on one of the weeks when I was really low of inventory for eBay, and I probably just thought I better list it. Um, going to Vermont, oh, that's on my dream list to go see the turning of the leaves. I will get there, but we have too many other places we want to go to. Um, 517 and then I charged them 675 so I'll keep about $1.50 on the shipping. The problem with going to see, like, the fall things that I would like to see is that, um, uh, you know, it's hard to get out of here in the winter, and then we just have a lot of events. I mean, there's all the holidays in the winter, and, you know, and, and our life gets really busy starting in September. Uh, I'm getting ready for Q4 either on Amazon or eBay or both, and so it's just hard for me to go take a trip to Vermont to go see the turning of the leaves. Like, if it were in the summer, I could get there, but I know that it's at least, what, August or September and uh, before you can see it. And I've seen the leaves in Michigan, so I'm okay if I never get to go. I have seen, like, the four or five colors, whatever it is. The golds, the reds, the, the greens, the browns, the, um, I don't know, what is the other one? Oranges. So I have seen all the colors all at once, and so I'm blessed that way. But I would love to see Vermont someday. Okay. How's everybody else's sales? Put it down in the bottom. Um, I learn a lot from you guys. And thank you, too, by the way. There's two gals who helped me this week. I should have looked at their names and mentioned them by name. I'm sorry about that. Life just kind of got busy this morning. But um, one person helped me on um, the name of the Cordovan leather. I think I mentioned this on my other video. But some people only watch my shipping videos. Some people watch my haul videos. So anyway, it's Cordovan Leather on Allen Edmonds and other brands too. Cordovan Leather is just something you really want to look up when you're looking at Allen Edmonds especially. It can make a difference in a $50 pair of shoes to a $200 pair of shoes at least. So look that up. Um, and then uh, also Bob Allen's Getting Things Done. That is a life-changing book. Definitely life-changing. Um, I'm in the middle of a good spy novel. It's Christopher Boyce is who was one of the spies and, uh, you know, it's try it's trying to find him. It's more the police or the detective story, not police. It's FBI and the Marshal Service trying to find him. And he was a fugitive for a long time. So it's a really good book. Uh, this is Urban Pipeline. It's a cargo, kind of a board short, I would say. 36 waist, just really nice um, trunks. Yeah, we're getting a hotel tonight, but I don't think we'll swim. My husband will be at the conference for a while, and then I'm going to be working till 9 o'clock. Well, actually, I don't think the Goodwills, even in Casper yet, are open till 9. I think all the Wyoming Goodwills are only open till 7. But then I will, I we're taking our puppy with us, so then I'll just relax in the hotel, take him out, go to the bathroom, do all that, and then... Um, just go to bed and read my book early and then get up in the morning and go source too. My husband will help me walk him in the morning a little bit more. I might go take a, take just a really nice long walk in the morning. 
if it's if the weather is good enough that's the problem when you take your dog with you and then the weather's hardly good enough to find a place for them to go to the restroom uh this is north care going to north carolina uh i'm gonna keep about a dollar something on the shipping Hum, hum, hum. Yeah, I gotta, I wish I would have worked harder yesterday now, now knowing that we're going out of town. I would have had my listings already done this morning. Um, but I also got a lot of sleep, really relaxed, um, got farther into my book, and that's worth its weight in gold too, you know? That is worth it. And my husband is rested because sometimes those conferences go pretty late. Okay, all right, we got one more, guys. I don't know how much I ended up even taking on this. I've had this bedspread. Um, it's not a bedspread. It's a, what do you call it here? A, a dust ruffle. So it's a dust ruffle, and I've got it sealed. So I'm sorry. I This is from before, before I started doing videos again and um it's a really thick like brown um dust ruffle it's a really thick material it's not a cheap lightweight one so i found this in the bins and uh i picked it up it pro let's see how much it weighs here it's a heavy one too so it's four pounds uh eight ounces and i hope at the time i was putting linens aside and getting the cheaper price. I'm not sure if I was. I think I might have paid the $1.69 a pound for this. So $8.50 is probably what I paid. Now I know better, and I know that this should have only cost me $0.69 cents a pound at the bins, but I hadn't been to the bins for years, and I would kind of forgotten that when I, I think when I got this. Either way, I paid possibly as much as $8.50. So uh, this sold for $30 plus shipping, so $49.44. When I looked it up, I figured I would get about 40 to 50 so I've held it too long, and I'm very happy with $30 plus shipping. That is fine. I wanted to get a tiny tad bit more, but this will do. This is going to Tennessee, so I'm sure it's going to take all the shipping. Let's see. All right, so Priority Mail, um, let's see, is um, I charged them $15.25 because this has been a little bit. It's actually going to cost me $17.02, which is fine. I don't want to have to stop by UPS. I'm just going to go ahead and send it um, the way that I charged them and get it on its way. So guys, that is it. That's all I have for this morning. I will have a haul video though again tomorrow. I didn't think I was. I thought yesterday was my last haul for about a week, but now that I'm going shopping again, I will have another haul for you either late tomorrow night or Sunday. And then it's going to be a ton of editing videos all week because I don't have any room in my garage to put my inventory. Um, there's room. There's room in all the boxes. There's half empty boxes. There's boxes with one item in it. You know how that goes. So I need to do the scrunch thing and I need to just by hand do about another hundred items this next week to figure out why they have not sold in over a year. So uh, I, I do have a 60%. I want to say, did I do 60%? I think I did. A 60% off sale on my very old over a year stuff going. Um, doesn't seem to be working and that's what I've always known is that once you let something stick around in your store too long and it drops down in the algorithm too far even a really low price cannot always jerk it back up to where people can find it so and that's what's happening with my stuff and then plus if you've ever watched one of my editing videos you know that for whatever reason some of that stuff has just fallen off so um there it has to happen some good editing this week. I'm very excited about it. Every time I do it, I find some big item that was just sitting there. So uh, you'll see a lot of that from me and then my normal shipping videos. So guys, I appreciate you watching. I'm going to have a couple of days off. Not, not from sourcing, but sourcing is not work. Not in my mind. I know for some people it is. But for me, I'm going to go do the fun part of the job, at least for me. And I will catch you guys probably tomorrow night sometime. Take care and uh, thank you. Appreciate your support. Bye-bye.